I had been living in another facility in um, another county and I saw after a few months it wasn't the place for me. So I came here and I couldn't be happier. It's a small facility and it's like a family and everybody is supportive and after moving five times in two years I felt that I was home at last. There are some wonderful activities here at the Covington. We have a fitness center where we do balance and just regular exercises with a wonderful teacher. What I really like are all the exercise options. Personally, I'm a walker. I like to walk about five miles a day. However, at times when I'm not walking, I know I could come in and use this wonderful state-of-the-art equipment at the gym. My name is Virginia and I've lived at the Covington for 10 years now. Although I enjoy many activities at the Covington, obviously you can see I love being in my garden. Outdoors, in the fresh air, exercise and working with my hands in the soil. It's like having my own little farm. I have a combination of vegetables and flowers, artichokes and rhubarb, lots of marigolds and plenty of herbs. And though you might not be able to see it, on the other side of my garden is a little lime tree that I put in especially for my gin and tonics. I arrived on the scene here at the Covington about five years ago and learned that there had been a well-established poker game going on here for some 15 years. So one of the exciting things for me go. has been the Wednesday I'm night poker game with this lots of friends, ladies and gentlemen, and what's turned out to be a social event with a wide variety of wild card <laughs> games and not too much serious stuff going on. I've been part of the golf putting here at the Covington since the day I moved in. Originally it was quite competitive, but we've kind of turned it into an activity where we just have a good time and see if we can't improve our putting a little bit. We certainly hope that we can have some new faces and hope that you'll come join us. I formed the Mary Minstrels Ukulele Group in August 2018 and there was only one other person besides myself that knew how to play the instrument and yet today I have eight of us being able to perform all types of music so that shows the dedication of this group. After living here I feel like I hit the jackpot because there are so many interesting residents here. I am the leader of this knitting group, and we call ourselves the Knitwit. We were formed in 2016, and in the beginning, we knitted scarves and blankets and hats, and Father Rick gave them to the homeless. Now we make baby blankets and robes for our assisted living patients and we're happy to be able to share our talents with the community. It keeps our brains active and our fingers nimble. When I was looking for a place to retire, one of the hardest things for me to think of was living in an apartment type deal. Like many of the residents here, I had always lived in standalone homes. One of the nice things about the cottages is that we do have a nice big patio. When I'm sitting on the patio, I have a nice lovely view of the saddlebacks. I have a fountain which attracts the wildlife, so I have birds, squirrels, a whole squirrel family, quail. I have all kinds of critters coming to my patio, which is fun to just sit and watch, and my cat enjoys that too. <laughs> I've played all my life. It's the most important thing in my life, outside of my family. When my husband and I came here to the Covington and I saw two beautiful, wonderful grand pianos, I thought this place had to be something special. I've been playing here in the piano lounge two times a month. We fill the place up. Everybody loves music. 
We dance here, we sing, and we have a lot of fun. It's always a joy to me to be able to share this, to see the reactions of people and see that it affects people. It makes them remember how it was when we all went to piano lounges, we heard live music. We still do that here. We just have a good time with the music.